Another year has passed with law enforcement officers across the state losing their lives in the line of duty. According to a national law enforcement fatality report, more died to COVID-19 last year than anything else. Our Capitol correspondent, Jayla Washington, shows us how officers were honored today. A majestic and sync procession onto the Capitol grounds. Flags waving with pride, heads held high, all to honor a group of men and women who risked everything. They opened a body bag, and there was my son. You can imagine how apparent. Here I go again. I've been crying for the last year and a half. Domingo Hasso from South Texas says he lost his son, a Border Patrol officer, to COVID. But all of these people are the same way as I am, mourning that loss. It, it, it won't go away. Hasso in pain. Somehow being out here today makes he and his family feel a little less alone. The fallen officers that we honor tonight were our partners, our loved ones. According to a national law enforcement fatalities report, line of duty deaths were up 55% in 2021, most from COVID-19. Others died from firearms and traffic related incidents. Even though the courageous men and women we honor tonight are no longer with us. They are never truly gone. 62 new names from Texas were engraved on this monument, forever etched in history and forever honored for their duty, commitment, and service. I feel for them, just like they feel for me. In Austin, Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And Governor Greg Abbott was the keynote speaker at the event today, presenting medals to families of fallen officers. He offered his condolences, saying the state of Texas will forever honor those living and fallen in the line of duty. And taking a closer look now at those na nationwide law enforcement fatalities, 458 federal, state, tribal, and local law enforcement officers died in the line of duty in 2021, the highest total ever and the most since 1930 when there were 312 fatalities. More than two thirds of them were COVID-19 related, but there was also a dramatic increase in traffic related deaths as well. 61 officers were killed by firearms, which is up 36% from 2020. And this is all according to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. Happening tomorrow, we are expecting